I've been trying to find my way over there for the last four episodes, and then I realized, yeah, I can just look over there and see that there isn't a kettle. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Splatoon 2! Last time, we tried out Salmon Run for the very first time, and now, where do we find ourselves other than an Octo Canyon once more? We're gonna hop over this way and open up the final level in the Slime Skin Garrison! Octoling Assault! Pump track it up! More octolings, really? Okay, let's retrieve all eight mini zapfish. I mean, I'm the one doing it, Marie. Why do you sound so unamused? You're just watching. You have no faith in me. I can't believe this is the first time we're seeing Humpback Pump Track. This is my personal favorite map in the game. It was available at launch, and yet it is eloted us now for 16 bloody episodes in a row. I don't know what the map rotation is going to be like. We actually play. Oh, you're using the Octo Roller. Huh? Okay, you're not getting me today. That was really weird how you just kept swimming around me and not swinging. Uh, hit that. Let's we'll do that again. Those are toxic mists that'll spawn as you, that'll uh, activate as you get close to them. Just simply shoot them with a bullet or two and you'll be fine. We got a curling bomb launcher. Hey, that is actually the official name. I could never find any official place of them referring to it as a curling bomb launcher. It's always just a special bomb launcher in the, um, weapon information and stuff, so it's kind of nice to see that there is actually a place where it is officially called the thing that I've been calling it. I think I inadvertently killed somebody who was just chilling out down there below. <laughs> Number two, count it. Uh, where are you? Oh, you're there. Uh, hero roller once more, there we go. Sure, let's just launch these things. It's not the most helpful thing in the world, but I got it early in the stage. I might as well take advantage of it. An elite. There we go. So, Octolings. Uh, weren't playable in Splatoon 1, but they have received a design change since Splatoon 1. Their boots are made of sardinium. And, uh... They have, uh, they have that sort of, like, weird fingernail flesh gradient thing that Marina does. They kind of made sure to differentiate the heroes from the villains, and, uh, unlike the first game, they don't imply that all Octolings are bad, so, you know, they, they don't really go that route with it. Uh, I think it's a positive change. I'm really happy that we finally get to play as, uh, Octolings. We've seen some Octoling heroes as well. Um... Being able to play as Octolings was the biggest thing that I think people wanted in Splatoon 1, and hackers were even able to make it the case. So people believed that it was indeed planned, but it was just never followed up on. It could be that Octo Expansion and the whole um, expanding upon their characters was a planned thing for one, and they didn't really mean to imply anything like that. Uh, but they just never really got around to it, or they just couldn't get funding for DLC, and they were just saving it all up for this game or something. It's possible. Uh, okay. Hit you. Gotcha. Keep going. Oh, no. Not gonna get me. Not gonna get me. Get that. I don't really care about this curling bomb launcher. I think I would rather have the splashdown if I'm being real, so let's just, uh... Here, collect me some eggs. Good use of a special. Good one. I use one of my keys. Grab that. Ooh, that's a splashdown. Press the right stick to bring pain down on all nearby enemies. And I doubt they're going to adjust their aim like they do in verses, so we can just go willy-nilly with it. Do that. You're a little too late to stop me, I hate to tell you. You even moved right into my reticle right there. There that goes. Come on, there... Come on. <laughs> okay. Got my splash down. I might as well use it before this is over. Some more eggs. If we were to die here, we would go back to spawn. Any, any kind of versus stage that shows up in Octo Canyon, that's what they do. You gonna react to this? I'm gonna swing at it a little bit. Okay. I can do my favorite combo here. Stay away. We'll use that. We'll get in close and then kerpow. Kerblooey! More like, you didn't die in one hit from that because you're elite. Right. Uh, hit you. Thank you. That's the last one, but I don't have either collectible, so I'd rather I'd rather not go onward. There's 
that over there. That's, wow, the palm plinking off of it was enough to destroy it. That was nice. That gives the Sardinium. And the key unlocks the sunken scroll right next to it. How can Keyans? It worked better in my head. Collect you! Don't slip up and miss the new album by Wet Floor on sale now. Their style changes like the shifting tides of ink in battle. Full color and monochromatic, smooth and statico, or lush and dripping with sound. It's rock for a new generation. Um, guy in the middle, you got a little something on your face there. Um, I'm sure he'll figure it out. Okay, well the way to the boss, uh, the boss kettle is now open, but we ain't going there. What we're doing is going back to Inkopolis Square, where we're going to learn about some new stuff. Let's learn. Our subject of the day is not how ridiculous I look and what would ever give you that idea. It's the wax seal on these weapons. I thought I saw you checking out the wax seal on my weapons, so what exactly are these? Well, they're called weapon badges, and they represent how many points have been earned with each. A wax seal is 100,000 turf, bronze is 500,000 turf, silver is 1 million, and gold is 10 million. There's even official artwork of Sheldon giving these out showing that he makes them as well. Weapon badges are even visible to other players when they show up in Inkopolis Square. Now with that quick little nugget of knowledge, let's move on to the weapon of the day. A precise long range shooter for more advanced players, or pros if you will. The Splattershot Pro. Its identity comes from its bullets moving quickly across a great distance and landing very accurately, a combination not generally sported by shooter weapons. Each bullet is 42 damage, virtually always winning in three shots and likely to pick off a damaged enemy in two hits. While those bullets are special, they're also teeny and not able to coat the ground quite as well as other guns. The rate of fire is half of that of a regular splatter shot, but it's not so slow that you feel like every shot is an event. It's still very much continuous. While the pro goes up from a splatter shot in some ways and down in others, it's a middleweight weapon and has the same mobility. Its playstyle is based around using that high reach so that the shorter range foes can't get close. Against longer range, it can use its mobility to avoid direct fights if they're slow pokes. This is a weapon with a high skill ceiling due to the strict leeway on aiming from a distance. Always have space to swim backwards, keeping at the edge of your effective range at all times. This is how you'll win encounters and is the best skill to have with the pro. Wait for them to show themselves unless you have a very favorable matchup. Being at close range leaves it vulnerable. When it comes to weaknesses, not being able to use its reach against even longer reaching weapons is definitely a big one. Shooters have to watch out for duelies, and the weapon that I always hate fighting with the Splattershot Pro is the Dually Squelchers. This pair of power drills has identical range, only slightly lower damage output, and even similar kit options, but with a dodge roll thrown in as a bonus that you don't get to use. The Dually Squelchers will naturally be less rigid with near identical capabilities to the Pro otherwise. Watch out for weapons with 70 range or above from the start of the match. The Pro also eats through ink a bit faster than other shooters, not one of the worst defenders, but still pretty fast and reload breaks are important. Pros also have considerably slower strafing speed than other middleweights. Swim, don't run. Recovering ink mid-fight is also a help. It's called the Pro for a reason. I've said it's a high skill weapon, if you like sloshers or other weapons that don't require being precise, you won't like this. It takes practice to gel with. Its sub-weapon is Point Sensor. With the gun costing so much ink, this cheap sub-weapon answers questions on the cheap. It exposes stealthy players who are normally at a disadvantage against the pro, shutting down their attack when they're behind a wall or corner. This is best to lay down so you know whether to pursue or back up when attacking at long range. Remember that the timer is extended if you keep tagging an enemy with the point sensor, suppressing a foe for an extended period of time. Don't be selfish. This can aid teammates to just throw every once in a while to point stuff out to them. It's the unspoken callout. If the ink isn't going toward anything else and you don't have a path to shoot, then why not? Special weapon is Inkstorm! 
This rounds out to a tactical weapon, spacing out with the main gun and simple deterrence from the sub and special. Thanks to the continuous damage of the special and the main's high 42 damage, it's occasionally possible to two-shot someone who spent just a moment in the ink storm. I want to skip ahead to an ability here to showcase damage up from main power up. From three main slots and four sub slots, pros can hit for 49.9 damage. This is a lot of stacking and doesn't allow for much else, but even without stacking it all the way, it'll do well with this two-shotting after minor damage from the ink storm or for anything else that a teammate has done. The pros ink storm costs 170 points, making it one of the most economical, and while the bullets aren't the best painters, it comes out to being pretty decent at building it at that many points. The pro enjoys the high ground, getting points for a special by painting mid, enabling it to fill in the specials and paint the zone even better. With that vantage point, it should be able to place the ink storm well as well. The ink storm can be placed to corral an enemy with less range, so they have to either go through the storm or fight you. It's an indirect special when the weapon played isn't a sniper. Now this sub-special combo gives the standard pro a clearly defined weakness. No way to fight back against snipers. It can do little against them or even against squelchers in direct confrontations aside from mild deterrence. It should avoid direct approaches with those weapons at all costs. The standard pro offers support to the whole team with low ink consumption from the sub. The other kits offer bombs and specials that attack directly, so in some games this one might be viewed as outclassed. Splat zones and turf wars are where it shines best. If nothing else, this is a kit that teaches proper aiming with the point sensor and forces you to get good with the main weapon to train for the big games. Right out of the fire, the Forge Splattershot Pro! Its sub-weapon is Suction Bomb! There it is, been foreshadowed, here we go. Holds an area for a short time, either keeps them away or forces them to fight you, but the longer detonation time might make pincer attacks harder to pull off. This is played pretty much the way it would be on any other weapon. Generally, you'll be tossing the bomb for one of these two purposes, swimming in and then shooting. Its special weapon is Bubble Blower. Now, here is the big diff. Bubble Blower plays off the main and sub exceptionally well. With the long range and decent damage, it can create openings for yourself and for the whole team. With good mobility, it can swim into the bubble quickly and use them as a shield. But the best part is how it works off the suction bombs. You can throw a suction bomb just before activating for instant detonation when a bubble touches it. Few weapons have a bomb with a bubble blower, but this is the only one to have suction bomb with it, giving it higher damage and AoE. Not only that, but as long as it has the ink, it can throw suction bombs between bubbles and they're 180 damage on contact with instantaneous detonation. This is the best object damage in the game from a sub weapon and this makes the special super consistent. By throwing a bomb, activating, creating a bubble, then tossing another bomb, it's nearly impossible for the bubbles to fizzle out. Strong weapon, fun combination. And then we move on to the bit. <sighs> you just had to leave my favorite weapon out of the game, didn't you? Kenza Splattershot Pro. There once was a time when this was the golden standout of Splatoon weapons, but even though that time is gone, it's still certainly workable. Its sub is Splat Bomb. When using the pros reach well, short range weapons will naturally back up. Lob it so they're backing up finishes them off, or roll it to get space and play for a trade when things aren't looking good. I feel this adds versatility due to being able to toss it in more situations than a suction bomb, or just to try a super jump and see where it gets you. You can throw a bomb in the split second before you die if it doesn't work out so well. Thanks to this, it's a lot easier to keep snipers away than the other two. Its special is Booyah Bomb! Play around this. It gets rid of snipers, makes the other team scatter. Preserving life to use this to create openings is so worth it. Play defensively if you're about to earn it. It crowds narrow spaces, prevents space outs. It's also a saving throw, usually allowing panicking with it more often than other specials. When fighting up close as an Achilles heel, it might save you. With smarter spacing, it's more of an opener for a push. I even say reckless missions are pretty viable with this weapon if Ink Armor is on the same team. Between Ink Armor, Splat Bomb, and Booyah Bomb Shield, and the free reload when the special is over, plus potentially using the Booyah Bomb to cover a getaway, it can fall back on a lot of fail safes and be damn hard to bring down. It's surprisingly big on defense compared to how it looks at first glance. As for downsides, the Kenza Pro has the highest special charge of any Booyah Bomb at 210 points. So it's quite a road to build it up, and it will have trouble getting this early game without making itself obvious. 
there are only five Booyah Bomb weapons, so I don't consider this as much of a downside as I would for other specials. It's just something to be aware of when considering. And these are the current ranked battle stages! Arawana Mall and The Reef! A new shop up in here, Marina. Let's go this weekend! I would, but this new game comes out this weekend and I'm dying to play it. Yeah, who needs social life when you have video games? It sort of reminds me of how as a kid I thought the message of Pokemon wasn't, hey, have friends with similar interests and bond over it. I thought it was, nobody likes me, but that's okay. I don't need real friends because I have Pokemon. <laughs> I call myself today the loser who wore shoes on the beach, so the locals shoved him into the drink. Arowana Mall up first today! All I need is one win and my rank will be safe for another day! Ooh, shiny plastic on that end zap. We got an E-leader we gotta deal with on this map. That could be a little bit rough. Go this way. I'm gonna go over here with the slosher, just try to get over to the other side. Maybe head off the E-leader at the pass. Just gonna keep my movement going right here. Uh, we have a Kenza splatter shot on both teams, so I get to see if I'm the better one. Hey, cool, I already am. That's nice. Uh, the E-leader is still alive, and, uh, yeah, I just sniped him. <laughs> uh, they only have two al Oh, I'm the only one alive on my team. Uh, no, I need to back off here. I don't want to go for that Rainmaker shield if I'm not going to be able to pop it. Let's throw that. Uh, throw that. Come on, come on, come on. You gotta come forward. No, nope, didn't quite get it. Uh, trying to, like, make them back up or just get them at an awkward time, though, but it's not really panning out. Yeah, bomb. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Got it! Okay. Uh, I took down the Rainmaker, at least. That was the important part. Yes! Took down the Kenza. There's only two of them alive. I'll take the Rainmaker. I just used my special. That's the kind of time to do it. Oh. I know you're back there. Let's swim away. Let's just rush it. The sniper is all the way in the back. I don't got to worry about getting picked off here. Taking the lead. Good. Guy okay, over there. He telegraphed his movements to me. Prematurely? Okay! 40 points! Good! Oh, we have wiped. We have wiped. That's bad. Uh, good thing we got this thing over here. I love squid beacons. They help out more than I think people realize right away. A lot of people are like, oh, why would I not want a throwing attack, though? And I, I, I've spoken my grievances in them for solo queue, but no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you do not. No, you will not. Absolutely no. None of that around here. Sniper is at the ready. I don't... Okay, let's wait for them to go down. Somebody's going around there. We got two kills. Three kills. Okay, yeah, this is the time. This is our time. I'm gonna go with you. You'll need someone to drag your corpse home. No, 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 no. Get out of here. People are probably super jumping back in. Uh, that was laid down by the sniper, I'm pretty sure. Got you with one bullet. You're not getting me! <laughs> okay, maybe you are, but it's okay! I brought you down with me! I don't know why I got so giddy about that. Their butt was backed into a corner, and I knew that they were gonna have to just take the Booyah Bomb. So I was all, okay, if you really want to die that badly, then okay, come over here. Showing my more destructive side, I guess. They have the Rainmaker. That is okay. I am right here on top of it. Oh, the Kenza got me. So, I don't know if I should say this, it's just kind of a thing, a story that I have about this game that I always think about. So, Kenza weapons. I always feel kind of awkward saying them because, you know how the British always insert random R's into things to make them flow better? How they don't say Ocarina of Time, they say Ocarina of Time, and it's adorable. Uh, so, a lot of the time the British, instead of saying the Kenza splatter shot or something like that, they'll say the Cancer splatter shot, and I always hear it is Cancer, and it's just... I'm like, no, what? That's terrible. No, that sounds awful. Why would you say that? It just, I can only ever think of cancer when I hear them talk about the Kenzo weapons, and it's bad. <laughs> okay, I see. Okay, you're dead. Just gonna, oh, boy. I have my special and I can't use it. This is bad. Um, God, a splat bomb. At least you're still alive. I'm gonna super jump back in because we might as well take advantage of the situations they're given to us. We got a lot of turf inked. He's got a clear way to swim in and... Kapow! We take it! Holy cow, what was that? Like 50 to 100 or something? <laughs> they... 
They got about halfway at one point. It wasn't all a one-sided match, but we were clearly the dominant ones in that fight. That gives us eight kills, two specials. Would have been three, but hey, I probably could have covered somebody grabbing it if I didn't grab it myself there. We are A-OK. -okay. As long as you see that OK, your rank is fine, even if the liquid is slightly below it. It's weird. It's... It's like filled but not, but it still counts. I just thought I'd bring that up though because I remember I didn't know that for a couple of years because every time I ever ranked down, it wasn't in that one specific situation. <laughs> oh, the bigger version of the reef with more terrain in it. Finally, we actually saw the normal version of his dangerous. Jeez, uh, did it get out what weapon I was playing or something like that because yikes. I announce whenever I'm playing in matches on my Twitter and occasionally YouTube and other places as well, though, but yeah, it's... This is quite a lot. I need to not be shooting that guy in the head. I... I'm a little torn about that. I want to say that shooting your teammate should not block your bullets, but I am sure there is a good reason for it, but it's also really freaking annoying and it happens a lot more than it should. Uh, especially in rank modes where you're all going for a for some kind of announced objective. It is kind of irritating, but yeah, it's... I don't know, I don't want to like be that guy who doesn't design games and say like, well, they clearly should have designed it this way when I really haven't read up on that. I've read some books about game design, don't get me wrong, but I would not say that I know a lot about designing an online team shooter. A lot of the stuff I've read is about platformers and RPGs and all that, so I don't really want to do it. Then again, I've heard the argument that shooters are just RPGs these days. That. Good. Just about to earn that. Let's go ahead and just click that in and deal with you up top. You're already dead. Good. Um, let's just throw it over there. Just give some nice support, some free points to the guy who's going forward. Taking the lead. And no more. Ah, oh, I knew I could take that person out if I could just get space back a little bit, but I couldn't. They got the Rainmaker, but they're in a not good position. Three of them are down. Only the Luna Blaster remains. Let's make something happen. Oh my God. Wow, I was triple teamed right there. I sure did a good job distracting them at least. Are we gonna get a kill or are we just not? Does that feel like it? We're all bunched together over here. This guy's making a rush for it solo with no one near him. He'd be pretty easy to take out if we could. Come on! Ah, oh, fell off the cliff. Hey, where are you? I'll give him that he moved away from the opposition, but that was not what I was expecting him to do. Keep going. Come on, J-Rex. We'll go together. You and me against the world, baby. This box over here is a new fixture in this specific mode where you can jump on that to get into the enemy base quickly. I saw somebody just phase out of existence. It wasn't like a poof, though. There's a special animation when it's a disconnect. I need my special right now, right here. This splatter shot has been really good here. They're running last ditch effort, some uh, run speed up. They're definitely in full last ditch effort right now. They reset the Rainmaker? Yes. Wasn't sure if they missed that jump or if they reset it. Gotcha. Not gonna take out that booby yeah, bomb. Oh, we got a double! I thought that was far enough away! No! <laughs> Uh, Rainmaker's been sitting there uncollected for a while. Uh, gonna reload and put a bomb. They seem to be trying to bomb us away. They got a lot more bombs than we do. Rainmaker reset from just inaction there. This guy's got the right idea of being unpredictable. Gotcha. And the roller got you, nice. Working together pretty nicely here today. Swing away, swimming away, swimming away, not tripping over each other's missiles. That's the American way. We're 
something. <laughs> they got three up. Yikes. Uh, wow. Uh, <laughs> that Rainmaker survived way longer than he had any right to. Good work to that guy. And, oh, it's already in our face because he backed up a little bit. Okay, good. That took care of it. Need to be turfing here some more. We don't really have a lot of map control right now, and I need to be special building if we're gonna make something happen. My Booyah Bomb will do a good job just giving cover to people. It neutralizes bullets, neutralizes bombs. It's a really good thing to have access to at any given moment. Ah, uh, traded. I keep going, urn, oh, uh, and all that. We're just gonna ca- About the timer. That's what I thought we were doing. Ah, uh, get over there, get over there, get over there, get over there. We just need to grab the Rainmaker one more time and we have won the game. Thank you! I like this weapon a lot. It's no Barry Splattershot Pro. I missed my suction bomb launcher on my Splattershot Pro, but I'll happily take it. Splat Bomb is a good sub weapon for it. Booyah Bomb is just a super helpful thing to have in pretty much any mode. Seven kills, four booyahs. Looking good. Not me, I'm not looking good. You, have you looked at me? Jeez, how horrifying. That's about everything we got. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go take a shower after having all these leaves and seawater on me. Next time on Splatoon 2! Aw, so happy. I gotta go hug the cat when this is over. We're going over... Oh, okay. Well, we're going over a slightly unorthodox weapon that I think uh, we could use some help going over. See you guys then.